Alright, so finally back again to this game. Um, over a month ago now, maybe a month and a half, I agreed to give this game a, a go for a person called Omega. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, when a Nintendo Switch and that all arrived, I sort of like got lost in that, as I mentioned in my previous video. So, if you haven't seen this game before, part one is on my channel if you want to go and watch that. But um, basically, yeah, I'm going to try and get back into it. It's a hard game as far as figuring out what to do is. For me, I'm not very good at those sort of games anyway. And I've probably forgotten all the controls. All I remember is, I do remember what I did, but all I remember is how I left it was on a cliffhanger. We were about to go and discover what was inside of the house, which I think was an orphanage or something. I can't 100% remember, but anyway, so let's do that and go and find out what's going on. Alright, and I even remembered to set a timer. Go me. Okay, so I open this door here on this keypad, and uh, yeah, we're in the house. So before I carry on, if you, uh, I mentioned that there was a lot of like frame drops and jittering. Someone since told me that that could be because I'm using a a standard hard drive as opposed to my solid state one. Um, I, I installed it to the wrong hard drive by mistake, so that's probably what's causing the performance issues. But hopefully that doesn't come out on video. Anyway, let's check this place out. Okay, so this is a map of, yes, this is a map of where we are right now by the looks of it, alright, alright, what else have we got in here, have we got anything, we got a projector by the looks of it, can I, okay, that's showing a spot on the map, by the... I need to turn that off to read what that says. Something yard. By the rail yard. In a circle near a wall. Okay, I wonder if that's important. I'm assuming I need to read this for backstory, and like I said in editing, I will, so it's save time, unless I have to read it. Alright, so where's one? Seed pair to find plants with similar atmospheres, free swap, free from seed. What happens at fruition? Swap where, home, when? Wait. No idea what they're doing here. A tape recorder though, that might be easier. Can I interfere with it? Let's try rewinding it. Is it broken? No, that's it. the tape is spinning. Let's try now. You don't like covertly. Okay, so something happened here anyway. 
Can I take the tape out? No, it won't let me. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So I can't actually take it with me. All right. Cool. What exactly has been going on here? So there was kids here by the looks of it. Or there were kids here, rather. Um... I have absolutely no clue what that does for me. I still can't unlock the door, which I kind of want to do. So it's showing me that I need to go... There's the tower, there's the rail yard. There's the tree. I need to go there. So I need to find... a way to get there. Along a wall. Alright, so I'm just gonna go and have a quick look around, guys, and if I don't find where I'm going, I'll, I'll cut to it anyway. Alright, so I found, um, I just pulled down this, on this board here, I just pulled this down and it's got a, got a number on it, but I'm not sure exactly what that would mean, but 15 is something worth re remembering, I guess. So, I'll have another look around and see if I can find anything else. Alright, so I haven't read this again, it basically describes in 1903 there was a loud explosion they thought it was dry lightning but it happened to be um, something else entirely uh, it says that a, a large circle of land among it seemed to have been scooped up and carried off to a completely different place all without anyone knowing about it I decided to read this stuff again so let's read the next one alright so from what I can gather the mofang or mafang um, species that arrived, um, they had trouble with communicating because the the Mofang um, liked to learn all languages, all different languages from different time zones and stuff, I guess, and it's all jumbled. But they finally managed to make contact with them. So let's find out about another species. All right, so the Villain or um, speak. Uh, using a totally different uh, system than humans do. They use a uh, low frequency, which I quote is from two large reed light structures inside opposite sides of their heads. So they were really hard to communicate with, but the Villain created um, consoles where they could um, basically um, translate what they're trying to say. So that's how they, um, that's how they communicate with the Villain. And the Arai used extrasensory transmission to speak. They didn't actually use words or any form of uh, speaking in any in, in any way. Um, and Farley, this Farley character, learned to speak back to them. I'm not sure if this has any impact on the story, but I thought I'd read it anyway. Alright, so having just read this part of this uh, journal, it says that when uh, the seed comes to, let's say, abduct the people, um, there's a seed that drops also by the tree, I think, and that indicates that the um, there's a seed looking for a new person. So whenever they see a, a seed drop by the tree, they know that there's going to be a new person arrives, but it can take hours or even years, apparently. And they always place the seed that dropped from the tree around where we entered when we first entered Hunraf. So that's why they set up all the uh, signposts and everything. And yeah. And this basically explains that the trees that drop the seeds that go and find people uh, come from a mother seed. And it doesn't look to be um, explained where the mother seeds come from in the first place. And now that I've done that little bit of um, that little bit of reading, I'm gonna go and have another look around. So I must remember 15, 
and I'll catch you guys when I find something else. Cool, I managed to find a uh, user shortcut to come back through this way. I was hoping I could. So let's have a look around now. I've already listened to that, haven't I? Is this green light? Alright, so that came as a surprise. I wasn't expecting to see anybody in the game. So there's a red beam, and that's what the Mofang... That's what we had to thank for, from the Mofang. So what do I need to do with the red beam? Let's try getting back up there again. How do I get up there? Oh, that's right, this door was open, wasn't it? So I've got to do something with the red beam. Can I get back to it? Doesn't look like I can. That's... I did that, didn't I? I can't interact with the red beam. Right, so we know we need to do something about this red laser. What is this? Hold on, there's a switch here. Did I do that before? If I did or not. All right. Can we do it? Can we pick that up and do anything with it? Doesn't appear we can. Um. Hang on. So we can point it at that rock that just opens up and doesn't really do anything. That thing. Let's try firing the laser now. Hopefully, we won't get fried. Oh, no, it doesn't hurt us anyway. Switch it off. Oh, hello. Something different in here. So I destroyed it. But what has that done for us now? Nothing. Hmm. Hold on. What's this? 
I've been walking past this constantly, so this is what's given out the blue laser out there. And it's got a seat in it. Sure way to get into that. Hold on. How did I miss this? This looks interesting. Let's go see what this is about. Does in fact mean we can get into it. What is this? Oh, is that I'm controlling the laser now, okay. What else can I do? Alright, I can turn the laser off, so let's do that. Oh, wrong thing. Is there any way to move this thing? Okay, it seems there is. We're off, guys. Wait, can I use this to destroy the rocks that are around on the pass? That'd be really cool. I need to use the switches on the tracks to uh, obviously change the direction, I'm guessing. Let's see what's through here and if we can do anything with this. Wait, do I need to use the sun to do something with it? Because now I can't use the I can't use this now, can I? Oh there we go. Is that gonna destroy that so I can get through? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's try it again. This is really um, annoying with controller, I'm not going to lie. Okay, Let's see if that's switched it off now. Um, see if that's got the uh, thingy now. I can't see to do anything. Can I switch it off? There we go. Alright, so that's not going to work for this. Gotcha. There was a red rock though, I remember seeing it. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that, I keep pressing the damn... Can I get out? Yeah. Let's find where this red rock is while we're on foot. Okay, so let's try this. further. Right now let's try. Yeah that's definitely cleared something look. Alright let's see what we can do for ourselves now. Now we need to find a way to get along there. Hitting switches randomly just doesn't seem to help though. This is weird. Come on.
There's no other red shimmering rocks I can go along there though. Now we're facing this, this, this way, let's try going back towards the way we came. Because I've got a feeling we got to get rid of that or do something with that laser that's not doing anything. Come on. That now will let us go the other way, right? I definitely saw the tracks moving that time. Backwards, but this way. Come on. Yes. Right, that is going to make us go this way, which is the way we want to go, isn't it? Right, that should be good. Wait, no, it shouldn't. A little bit more. A little bit more. We should be able to reach it from here. I wonder if it's just as simple as this. So I switch this to shoot mode. I point this at the cannon, which is there. took care of that laser, didn't it? I wonder what exactly that does for us. No idea what that does for us. But it definitely took care of that red laser, didn't it? Hmm. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to leave it here and we're going to find out in the next episode what exactly that did do for us. Um... This is a really hard game to let's play, especially for me, because this isn't my usual sort of thing. So I hope it isn't too boring. Um, if you have any tips for me, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll uh, definitely take them on board. I'm going to need them for this type of game. But we are sort of making progress. I'm not sure whether that, that was the right thing to do or not, but it kind of seemed like we needed to get rid of the red laser in the sky. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you guys soon. Cheers.